Hi all, welcome to this sports psychology screencast continuing with confidence and self-efficacy in sports performance. So far I've looked at the definition of sports confidence, the impact of sports confidence and Bailey's, Bailey's model um, of sports confidence. Today we're going to be looking at the definition of self-efficacy and specifically focusing on Bandura's theory of self-efficacy. So if we get down to it straight away, what is self-efficacy? So self-efficacy is situation specific form of confidence so according to bandora self-confidence can, can often be specific to a particular situation so he's decided to name this self-efficacy and um, this specific confidence can vary from situation to situation so we're going to use a penalty in football as that is the um kind of experience or sorry the example we used with sports confidence so um According to Bandora, expectations of self-efficacy depend on four types of information, performance accomplishments, vicarious experiences, verbal persuasion, and emotional arousal. Now, these can influence our self-efficacy. Okay, So if we're talking about someone wanting to take a penalty, or we're having a penalty in football, performance accomplishments, so reminding a performer of previous success they have had could increase self-efficacy, e.g. showing a striker previous successful penalties via video. That would improve an individual's or a striker's self-efficacy. If we're looking at this one, vicarious experiences, what we're looking at is watching someone of a similar ability being successful could also help increase self-efficacy. Seeing a teammate score a penalty, for example. We also have verbal persuasion as one of the... Um, Kind of types, four types of information, and verbal persuasion is positive feedback from a coach or significant other can help increase self efficacy, e.g., coach praising a performer for scoring a penalty. Finally, emotional arousal. This is understanding that high arousal can lead to high performance, e.g., a player scoring a penalty in a final under high arousal. So we need to be aware of our perceptions of how arousal, or how, of how being aroused. And can affect our confidence in a particular situation. So, as you've got the example there, a cup final penalty, your arousal level is going to be through the roof. It's about being able to perceive that as not being a bad thing, i.e., understanding that high arousal can lead to high performance. So, make sure you've got those down. Make sure you draw um, Bandora's theory of self efficacy here. And make sure you have these key pieces of information with examples down. Um, that'd be great, and I'll see you in lesson. Thank you.